Hi everyone, my name is Tori Kai, and welcome back to Sarah is Missing. Um, you know what, let's just jump back into it. Let's check out what Derek says. Hey, you there? What do you want? Nothing. I just... I'm about to board. Why should I care? Well, that's one of the probs, ain't it? You barely care. Did you text me to tell me that? You're such an asshole. Look, I didn't mean... I definitely didn't want to hurt you. I mean, I wish things were different. I don't want us to end. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Ugh. I'm trying to tell you that this was not how I planned things to be. Things ended when you left. You left. You and your planning. Enough plans. You plan and plan and plan, but you never do anything. All you do is run and work, and use your work as an excuse to avoid confronting the issue. I think you just described yourself. Why do you always do this? And you keep blaming my work for our problems? Stop blaming shit on me. And these girls, naked or not, they're not our problems. It's me and you. And you're the one who keeps avoiding this shit, shifting problems here and there? Wow. Really? So what, did he have like, naked photos? Like porn or whatever? Jeez. How about, I don't feel like listening to your shit right now. Haven't you done enough? No, you need to listen. I'm trying to tell you. No, I don't want to listen. I'm tired of your lies and shit. Baby, listen, please. If you have nothing else to say, then stop texting me. I'm done with you. Done. I can't believe you decided to do this. Not that I fucking celebrate it. It's Valen fucking Tynes Day. Who the fuck leaves their girlfriend to fly back to another country to photograph nude women? On Valen fucking Tynes. Jesus. And not having the balls to tell me about it. You lying piece of shit. Not telling you something is not the same as lying. I told you. It's a last minute gig. It's a fashion shoot, babe. Let's get that straight. Wow. Not telling is not the same as lying. I mean, withholding information, you should at least say something like, hey, I've got work. And really, a fashion shoot? You, you want to believe that? You want to play technicality with me right now? Are you fucking serious? Go away, Derek. Just go away. You're good at that. At least, that's one damn thing you're good at. Just go. No thanks to you. I don't even fucking know how to get back to our chalet. Our. Sorry, my mistake. It's my chalet now. I have to figure this out. Bye, Derek. Have a nice fucking flight. Sarah, baby, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. You there? Hey, I'm boarding now. Take care. Sorry. Bye. Hey. How are you? Been a while. Hey. Baby, talk to me, please. I'm so sorry. I miss you. What are you up to? Sarah, talk to me, please. Baby? I'm not your baby. Stop texting me. I need to move on. Okay. Got it. Bye, Sarah. So, she hasn't talked to him. Let me see. That, yeah, that was Valentine's Day. And then he starts bothering her again in March, April. I noticed her texting style changed between here and here. So, either she just doesn't give a crap anymore or this isn't her. Alright, let's see who Aya is. Hey, bootylicious. You okay? Feeling like the dumps? Come join me in some ABS at the club. What is ABS? Oh, abs! 
<laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> oh, sorry, babe. Got assignment. Can't do it. Skip it, babes. They have like abs, like, like, like abs, like Tarzan. Sorry. You know, I won't want to miss hanging out with you guys, but some other time? It's ladies night, and besides, we got ice cream. You need a break. Come on, mama. You know how them ice cream melts down the abs. Tempting, but I'm gonna pass. Besides, I haven't gone clubbing in years. I don't really like ice cream, but... Hmm... Chocolate lava brownies does sound so good. Celebrating freedom? You need a night out with me to forget all your troubles. I won't force you, though. I'll have one on your behalf. <laughs> Thanks. I will catch up with you some other time. And don't overdo it. Watch your calories. <laughs> betch, betch. You know that they love my love handles. Them puppies, wild, wow, mama. <laughs> okay. Hey, where have you been? Why didn't you reply me? I texted you last night. I heard you went out with Faith last night, bitch. Why didn't you call me? I'm always the last to no. know. WTF. Let's get coffee. I've got news. I met someone last night at the club. Man, those dimples. Sarah, you there? I tried to call you, but I can't get through. Call me Kay. Hey, Sarah. I'm worried. You've been MIA. You're not normally like this. Ooh. Sarah's actions. It's unusual. How do you know what is unusual, or why is that? Through various calculations of Sarah's regular activities and choices that she makes in her daily life, I can simulate and deduce that her actions or inactions in this situation does not match her past behavior. Huh. What is Sarah like usually, or is she always like that? What is she like usually? Her recent behavior shows that she's suffering from abrupt and apparently unaccountable change of moods, possibly due to a relationship issue. But I'm no doctor. <laughs> I agree with you or you're freaky, Iris. Um, I guess, I mean, deducing from what her friend is saying, I agree with it. Huh. Okay. Mm. Oh, dude, this photo is creepy. Why you gotta peek like that? All right, so how was your trip? It was terrible. Oh, why was it terrible? Uh, Derek broke up with me. Sorry to hear that. By the way, free this week? No, I'm pretty busy. Got my final thesis to deliver. What is it about? Do you really want to know, buddy? Yeah, sure. I'm doing a research on the relativity of ghosts to culture and how it transcends from verbal tales handed down through the generations to a digital and cyberspace hauntings. By the way, are you into butt stuff? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Are, are guys really... Yeah, guys are probably really like that. <laughs> what? I, I don't know. Wow. I'm just gonna really talk about her thesis and then, or your thesis, and then jump into butt stuff. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. I gotta go, buddy. And no, even if I am, you're not it. No prob. Poke you later. Nice weather today. Could be better. When does it feel as nice as it was yesterday? Can I send you some pics? I don't think so, buddy. Uh, I bet you'll like them. Oh god, are they gonna be like dick pigs? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's of my penis. Yep. <laughs> it, 
Oh, God. Yes, I figured. It's big. I don't really care. Would you like to see it? Dude, she just said... Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> uh, no. Would you like to sit on it? Nope. Can I see you? Not at the moment. Can I see your... <laughs> Can I see your... <laughs> I don't have a penis, buddy. I meant your tits. I bet you have nice tits. I do, actually. Can I see them? Nope. Bend over for me. No thanks. Sorry. I'm just bored. You can just Google porn if you really want to see some boobs. <laughs> I know, buddy. Go watch porn. Internet here is slow. Not my problem. Well, have fun there. Thanks, buddy. I don't know why I'm friends with you. Really? Lucky me, huh? Hey, do you like tapes and CDs? Yeah, it's been a while since I had them, though. Good. Because I'm going to tape my penis on your head and you can CD... No. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. That was actually funny. I wasn't really joking. And I'm out. Jeez, so the second she goes single, he's all, Yo! My nuts! <laughs> oh. Alright, let's talk, see what Jill said. Ugh, he's so annoying. I'm so over him. Forget him, Sarah. You're on your own now. We have our ups and downs. It's normal. Why don't you go do something fun? Something crazy. I mean, you're doing it now. Your endless research on the paranormal. I don't know. I guess you're right. You are the genius in our batch. Ugh. I'm so stupid. Yeah, you are sometimes. But go easy on yourself. You're just getting used to it. It's one thing to break up and another to move on. Can you do me a favor? What? Meet someone new. Go meet a crazy friend. Try a dating app. You never know. I don't know how to make friends. I already have one crazy friend. I don't think I can handle another. If I meet someone interesting, I usually just buy them a drink and take them home. Not too sure about dating apps. Sometimes I can't tell if you are joking. <laughs> but put yourself out there. Go have a conversation with someone at a cafe or something. A party might not be a bad idea. Have fun. Please. I don't know. Just try. Okay. Fine. Fine. I will. You'll be fine. Thanks, Jelly Beans. No problem. I'm here for you if you need me. Saving you has become my specialty. <laughs> Very funny. He'll be alright. I know. I know. Hey, have a safe flight. Good luck and hope you save lots of lives there. Thanks. I'll be back sooner than you think. We'll miss you. Don't run into zombies and stuff. Even if you do, somehow, I think you'll find a cure for it. <laughs> I just might take care of you. Okay. So there's James. Coffee. 1800. Yeah, sure. But let's make it 6.30 p.m. 18.30 it is. Bring the stuff I gave you yesterday. Next time, bring your own research, okay? Don't be like that. I gotta go. Later, Jam. Huh. Uni group. Chap unavailable. Okay. Let's check her mail. Whoa. 
Well, let's see. Reminder, submission deadline for final assignment, UHS. Dear student, we are contacting you as a reminder to submit your final thesis. The final date of your submission is 30 April 2016, 5 p.m. Saturday Eastern Time. If you have already submitted your final assignment, kindly ignore this email. Thank you. University of History and Science. This is from the professor, Ghost. On the virus note, I was referring to the computer virus hidden in the 11th essay. That's not entirely true. The virus was the essay. You've brought up a good point. How would a person who is cybernized at an early age like the major develop properly? I would imagine they would have to leave the pituitary gland untouched. Overall, development in all areas of the human body and psyche would present a conundrum where cybernization is introduced into the equation. J.D. Salinger is real enough, but the man who wrote The Individual Eleven, the book containing ten essays on revolution, Patrick Sylvester, is a fictional creation of Shiro Masamune as a plight device for the second season. Um. Oh, I should have read her, because I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I don't understand any of this, and there's... Her initial email. Okay, let me just finish this. <laughs> However, the themes from Standalone Complex are not in The Catcher of the Rye or The Laughing Man. These books are merely being referred to. Quite a lot, though. Alright. My bad. I should have... Oh, okay. Let's read his email first. My bad. Continuing where we left off during our discussion yesterday. Sorry, I had to rush off, but here's my brief, simple thoughts on the matter. How relevant do you feel the philosophy and sociological themes presented in Get S S A C, particularly Second G I G, are today? Oh, Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Huh. Are they just a plot element designed- Because I recognize the sh name Shiro Masamune. Um, yeah, anyways. Are they just a plot element designed to make the show more interesting and intellectual? Or has Shiro Masamune hit upon something? And again, sorry about my pronunciations. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've seen his name more than I've heard it, so... Oh well. <laughs> I think that if you remove certain cyberpunk elements the basis of social theory present is well worth consideration. Most present in the series is the titular standalone complex, where the unrelated actions of individuals who are unaware or have no contact with one another create an effort in concert. The standalone complex may prove to be key in the state of progress and change, not just revolution put, but the former phenomenon on any social level. As Gouda tried to bring about a refugee evolution, with the goal being granted an autonomous state, others may realize that change must be brought forth and may very well utilize a standalone complex to bring about said change. How exactly SAC may come to be fabricated, I'm not sure. Well, we obviously do not have cyber brains and so therefore cannot be infected with the virus nor do many of us have the kind of political clout that Gouda does. However, as I said, there are different social levels on which SAC may be manifested, so there is not always a need for a medium as dramatic and mysterious as nationwide data manipulation. Of course, the standalone complex could be utilized to repress change. If those who possess the SAC believe that change has yet to be warranted or wish to safeguard against unnecessary change, in conclusion, a standalone complex could be used to bring about change or halt change. This could be for good or for worse, depending on the ideology of those who possess the SAC. In my personal opinion, this makes a standalone complex highly relevant to any society, as any society is always in a state of constant change and development. Huh. Alright, let's see her response to this. The topic is something I have wondered off and on myself. First, let me run a biological perspective. One, with cyborg bodies and cyber brains, we would not get real viruses. 
we also would not have any immune system and we would not have an endocrine system. Without an endocrine system, we have no hormones, no testosterone, no estrogen, no progesterone, no adrenaline. Would we act like people without those basic chemicals in our bodies? Men, I don't think would be the same or even close. I bet the two sexes would perhaps be closer, but people would drift farther apart. Why would we need to be with anyone? Second, the philosophical stuff. This is something I'm bad at, so please, to excuse me. I haven't verified at the library the work cited as, say, the book that inspired the original Eleven or anything besides J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye, but I have assumed that they were real books. And if those books written in our past have valid points in the future, why shouldn't it be something that the same future may have to deal with. People are people until we aren't people anymore, right? We will have many of the same struggles as we have had in the past. I mean, that's why people still read holy books written thousands of years ago to find answers to the problems of today. What will be problematic is if we do not keep aware of what had happened, what is happening in order to continue to improve upon the future. Being unaware is so much of the problem. Honestly, not knowing about Ghost in the Shell standalone complex makes this conversation a little difficult to understand, but reading in the correct order definitely helps. <laughs> Alright. Okay, a party invite. Alright. We steal from the dead. <laughs> Poet Society wishes you happy birthday, Sarah. How lucky are you for being born on Valentine's Day? We wish our coolest member with one of our favorite poems. Poem for my 43rd birthday. To end up alone in a tomb of a room without cigarettes or wine. Just a, just a light bulb in a pot belly, gray haired and glad to have the room. Charles Bukowski. P.S. Do send us your latest work for our cataloging purposes only. So her birthday was on Valentine's Day and her boyfriend left without saying to go photograph some nudes. Wow. Okay. Well then. Chainmail. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Beware of emails with strange attachments. There's a chain email going around and I strongly advise you to do not read it and most importantly do not open the attachment. It can come in any shape and form, but always with particular video attachments. It is said that whoever watches a video will bring upon a bad omen. The sender will also encourage you to send the video to people you know. If you receive such content, please delete them from your phone. Only you can prevent the f spread of malicious content on the web. Hey Sarah, I'm forwarding this to you. It's from a friend and I think you should be careful. P.S. Rihanna loves whips and chains, but I doubt her ancestors felt the same way. Okay. Well then, buddy. Oh, so she did sign up for the, um, the dating app, I guess. So three matches. Okay. Hey, Sarah. Why two, three? Seven days without love makes one week. On Mingles, you always have a choice. There are three people who are itching to be messaged by you. You should reject them, they won't know, or message them sweetly. Log on to Mingles app on your phone to find your true love. Mingles with the shingles. You received this email because you are a member of Mingles and your email settings are set to receive our newsletter. Are you tired of getting these emails, get this in error, or otherwise want to disable it? Piece of cake. Unsubscribe. Huh. I wonder if she met anybody, then. Foreign United Coffee Carpets. Try our new carpet-flavored coffee beans, featuring Persian and Arabic carpets. Okay. Shopping Mail. Hello, Sarah. It's your birthday month. Celebrate your birthday with us. Here's what we have lined up exclusively for you. Times two the points on your purchase, 10% off your online order this month, complimentary brow and wax 
shaping service. Book your appointment today. Terms and conditions apply from the Jeebus Shops Here team. Our church also receives 90% donations from your purchase. Okay. Casket stays. Travel Airbnb. Hello, Sarah. Great start on your London 2017 wish list. Show off your great taste. Save your favorites by tapping on the heart. If you're traveling at friends, invite them to add places of their own to this wish list. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for extending your stay with every B and B. Here's your confirmation info. Extension four days. Laura's single apartment. We hope to continuously serve you better. We hope you never check out. Okay. We hope you never check out. Okay. Well, I didn't find anything of use here. Huh, I'm surprised this didn't get anything. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's check our photos. Failed to launch. Unfortunately, this app has stopped working. Please contact the developer. Okay. It always scares me when it glitches like that. Music. The end is nigh. Carbon copy. Whoa, I didn't expect it to actually play music. Okay. So her notes. Eden, there is no place I call home. But it's warm in between your toned thighs. Like winter tigers listening to God whispering goodnight from nowhere. Static. You loved me yesterday, but today, no. Today you love yourself, and I, I love yesterday. We live from notification to notification. And I giggled. And I didn't know that when I giggle, my ass giggles too. And I think about being spanked by his firm hand. And I giggle no more. Okay. Oh. Okay. Alright. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. It's very interesting to see how much we can learn about Sarah. Just from rummaging through her phone, like... I guess you could do that for anyone, like, just, I mean, looking at her messages, or looking at her email. We're just kind of piecing together what kind of person and history she has. I mean, we know now that she's a university student, she's studying um, parapsychology. She doesn't get along with her mom. Her friends are kind of odd. I mean, I'm mentioning the one who's kind of luring her over to the witches meeting, I guess. I don't know, it's it's very strange. And then there was that weird chain mail warning. Here they are like, oh, don't watch this video. And it's still like circulating. It's kind of strange. Um, but I guess since they're studying that kind of ghosts and whatnot i guess they would show some interest in it i don't know anyways it's it's interesting i'm curious to see where it's headed from here anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're enjoying <laughs> i know i am i'm really curious to see how we're gonna play this through but yeah i'll see you next time bye <laughs>